it's mary and brennan here i'm stressing so much lately whenever i'm sad or stressed i used to go to the beach also i just want to say thank you so much to all my friends who is always there for me just know that i really appreciate and love you so much guys mm. that's it awesome well, it's been about a month since Mary scammed people into giving her money for cancer that didn't really exist. If you don't remember, in February of 2024, Mary made herself a funding page saying that she had colon cancer and then didn't really have cancer. It was wild. She even raised over $1,000 for her fake cancer treatment. It was quickly proven to be a scam and not true. No, she had not actually been diagnosed with cancer by a doctor. She had actually self-diagnosed herself with colon cancer from watching TikToks about it. Yeah. So the donation campaign was shut down. Mary also had her Facebook monetization taken away for a few days, which she cried about a lot, blaming everyone but herself. But then after that, Facebook turned their monetization back on, and then Mary and Brandon tried to prove that Mary was really sick and that they did in fact go to the hospital. They claimed that something was still very wrong with her, even though it wasn't cancer. But we found out that they were doing this because the money that had been donated to them for Mary's fake cancer was not automatically refunded to the people that donated. Nope, the money for fake cancer treatment was not willingly refunded by Brandon and Mary. I made a whole video about that that I will link in the description. But after there were no automatic refunds and everyone was very mad at them, they just continued on like nothing had happened. Brandon and Mary continued to vlog make stupid videos, and did not act like they just scammed people out of money. So initially, when all this had happened, I thought, okay, they really must have been struggling financially before this happened, and this was like their last attempt to save themselves financially. So I went through their many posts, their many videos, and their vlogs. And let me tell you, their vlogs did not tell a story of them struggling in the Philippines. It was actually the complete opposite. Even just a few days before Mary claimed to have fake cancer, they actually went on a vacation to a beach resort, just the two of them. And when they posted about it, Mary did not seem sick. She seemed completely fine. They made other videos about the days leading up to Valentine's Day, not mentioning once that Mary was having issues. I feel like Mary is the type that very much would have complained if something was wrong with her. We just watched them go out to eat. We watched them cook. There is no struggle to be seen in any of these videos. And zero comments were made about Mary having serious debilitating stomach issues. And even the day before her pretend cancer diagnosis, February 16th, they had people doing construction on their house behind them in a cooking video. She even says in the video, hey, sorry, it's noisy from construction getting done on the house. As you can see, guys, our house is under construction. That. But then just days later was when they started asking for help with Mary's fake cancer treatment. They went from not appearing to be struggling financially at all, going on vacation, working on their house, to them begging people for help with money. And after the scam was shut down and we found out that the money wasn't willingly refunded, people were wondering where the donation money went. I know that a thousand US dollars does not sound like that much, but for them in the Philippines, it could last them quite a while. And no one believes that that money went to her medical care. So where did it go? Some people made comments saying that Brandon and Mary had a new car in one of their videos. But to be fair, looking at their older videos, the car looks like the one they had before the scam. Someone else pointed out how they had new couches. Again, I saw that couch in a video before the scam as well. There was just like a towel over it. But there was one thing I did notice that was new of theirs. I couldn't find evidence of Brandon having that new home gym before the scam. He has like a whole gym set up now. So they could have bought that with the donation money. They could say it is for their health, I guess. <laughs> 
And speaking of the donation money, PayPal did end up offering refunds since they handled the payments for Go Get Funding, where Mary and Brandon had hosted their cancer campaign. So if someone hadn't been refunded yet and was still waiting on that, they need to contact PayPal or dispute it with their bank. I'm glad that PayPal is at least offering refunds. I hope that every single person that donated gets their money back and Brandon and Mary get nothing out of this. Not a cent. I'm really hoping that that home gym was not from that money. I'm also very bothered by the fact that over time, this scam will be forgotten at some point. I think because it wasn't a ton of money that it won't stay on the radar. I mean, there are many of us that will always remember this, but it's bothering me so much because of the context. She lied about having cancer. That's just the worst. But even now, they are already just continuing their lives making money off of cringe videos like nothing happened like Brandon pretending to be a baby, or Mary just reminding us how toxic she is. I'm so happy that you're not looking at girls anymore. Thank you, baby. You're welcome, baby. That's how they're surviving, paying some bills. Also, the only time I've heard anything about Mary's stomach issues in any of these videos, and I will say I watched a lot of them, she only mentions in one video that she's following the FODMAP diet. Don't worry, guys, he's making chicken. I can eat chicken, guys, but I can't eat pork because pork is not in the food map diet i'm in a food map diet right now guys and it's very hard to adjust but then more recently she made a cooking video of her preparing and eating pork and then in another video they're eating french fries she mentioned eating donuts in another one too mm. That's it. and they're making cooking videos constantly so my point is with all of this, PayPal is offering refunds, but these two had no real punishment for their scam. I also see zero evidence of any consequences. They are doing just fine. Plus now they might still have a little extra money in their pockets from this scam. They tried and kind of succeeded on walking away with the money, which I find completely insane. So if we just think about it, they're living off of cringe videos that they make, possibly living off of donation money that they wouldn't refund. They have people sending them gifts for their baby. They still have a fan base. No consequences. So it's just a matter of time before they do something stupid again, or maybe even something worse. People will forget that this happened and then they will get away with something else. Neither of them seem to work, but they get some sort of monetization from posting crap like this. I'm the wife. Of course you can't leave the house without me. I'm the husband. Of course I'm just the husband. So you don't like to be my husband? What kind of question is that? You can't sleep with me tonight. What? And I'm sorry, but Brandon looks bad. The combination of just being with Mary, doing nothing but making stupid content, and cooking videos has been rough on Brandon. They put themselves in a bad situation and their baby. But instead of doing something to make their lives better, they will just continue to live off of terrible videos they make, gifts from strangers, and exploiting their kid. Yike. Arzana Nicole have a poem for you. Roses are red. Kimberly is crazy. Subscribe to the Kibbles channel. Almost too lazy. Oh my gosh, lazy. Let me know what you think about this. I just can't believe they pretty much got away with it. If there is anyone who has any more information or an update about people getting refunds, let me know. If you have any info, please send me a message on Instagram. I do not want this scam to be forgotten about because even though it wasn't a lot of money, I think this is just the beginning of the many ways that these two will keep trying to get money out of people. I would also love to know what Brandon's mom thinks about this too. Again, let me know what you think and I will see you in the next video. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye!